If you've ever been to a French restaurant, you've probably had crepe Suzette. And I'm going to take that concept and instead of using orange, I'm going to be using banana and passion fruit. It's absolutely delicious. The first thing you need to do is make the crepe batter super easy. So into a bowl, we're going to add some plain flour. And you don't want to use self-raising. That's what we use to make pancakes. But crepes are much thinner. So you want plain flour for this recipe, along with some caster sugar for some sweetness and a pinch of salt. And just with my whisk, I'm going to combine that and make a well in the centre. And now I'm going to add eggs. So you'll need three eggs for this recipe. So we'll break them in individually. As a little girl, I used to love doing this job at home. Mum would make the well in the centre, I'd crack the eggs in and I'd mix it. So I would classify myself now as an expert crepe maker. It's such a fun thing to do with kids. So after you've cracked the eggs in, you want to use your whisk just to break up the eggs and start to bring in the sides. Now, the reason you want to do this is because we don't want any lumps in our crepe batter. So little by little, you'll see the flour just catching onto our eggs. So that's looking good. Now, I've got 500 millilitres of milk here. I'm going to add a splash in and then keep whisking and bring in the sides. See how smooth that batter is? That's what we're after. It's looking really good. And I'm looking for the consistency of pouring cream. So you don't want this to be too thick. We want it to be much thinner for crepes. Okay, I think this can afford a little more milk and then I'll reserve this for later. You can use this crepe batter straight away, but I find the texture of the crepes are much better after resting. There's one last thing I need to add to this, is a small splash of butter, just to make them extra decadent. And just fold that through, and that can go straight into the fridge. So you want to give it about one hour. Even better, you can make this the day before. All right, while that's chilling, let's get on to the butter filling for this. So in a bowl, I've got some icing sugar along with some softened butter. So just pop this in the microwave or just bring it out of the fridge for a few hours because you need to be able to squish it together like this. So you want it to be really soft. So usually you would add some orange juice to this and some orange zest, but I'm sort of changing it up slightly by adding some passion fruit pulp. So I'll just grab a spoon and add about a tablespoon or so. One, let's go two. I just love that tropical, sweet, tangy flavour of the passion fruit. And next I'll add the zest of one lemon. And we'll just finally grate that in. Okay, now I'm just going to give this a really good mix to combine the lemon zest, passion fruit and that butter and sugar. And that will be good to go. We just have to wait for our batter to chill and we can start making the crepes. Okay, the batter has come out of the fridge. Let's have a look at it. And just use a ladle just to mix it up. And you'll see how thick it's become. That's just been in there for a few hours. So we do need to loosen it, an extra splash of that reserved milk. And that's looking quite good now. So I've got my pan preheating, it's nice and warm. You can see it's a large crepe pan. I'm just going to use a little of that extra butter just to brush on. I want the smallest amount of butter. This is a non-stick pan, so it's not for that. It's more for the flavour and that golden colour on the crepe. I also want that extra assurance that's going to flip perfectly. So always the first one, it's just getting a feel for the crepe batter, the crepe pan and the exact amount. So I'm going to start with a ladle full or about three to four tablespoons straight into the center and then move the pan around. You can see it's quite a large one. You want to get it as thin as possible. So it's almost like a little challenge to yourself. Each crepe will get better and better. You want to get it as thin as possible, almost like handkerchiefs. You'll see that it starts to dry out and become crispy on the sides. And just with a palette knife, you want to check it. See how it's not sticking? We've got some good caramelization. Give it a jiggle. Oh, look at that. And then one, two, three, big flip. Woohoo! I love making crepes. It's always a lot of fun. And then on the other side, you want to give it another 30 seconds to a minute. That's all it takes. So I'm going to make a few more of these and then we can start filling them with that delicious butter.
Okay, the crepes are ready, so now to fill these, we're just going to turn it over and you want to add a small spoonful of this yummy flavoured butter and you can just spread it out quite roughly, just in one quadrant if you like, because we're going to fold it on itself. And then we'll fold it again and you'll see there'll be like a little pocket of butter in here. And we'll do the next one. And if you wanted to do this for a dinner party, you could make this ahead of time. So make the crepes, fill them up with the softened butter, just pop them in the fridge and then once you're ready to flambe them and then warm them up in the pan, you just bring them out. So it just makes life so much easier. It's all about preparation when it comes to desserts like this. Okay, the last one. This one's a little crispier, but that's okay. Fold it over, fold over again. Okay, you can see that I've got a little butter left over, so we're going to add another spoonful into the pan. So I'm using a deeper pan for this for when the butter melts. It's just on a medium heat, not too hot or else the butter will burn. We're going to add our crepe. So we'll put one over there and you'll see that it just will fit quite snug. Perfect. And you just want to coat it in that butter while that's bubbling away, we can add some banana now. We'll just peel that. We'll just cut it on an angle. The riper the banana, the better it is. And I'm really just putting a slight amount of warmth into the butter. I don't want to overcook them so they turn into mush. I want to keep the texture of it. We'll sprinkle them over the top. And just with a fork and a spoon, just want to flip the crepes and it's okay if the banana goes down the bottom there oh. and usually in the old days they would do this at the table so everyone can see it it's definitely one of those theatrical dishes speaking of theater I'm now going to flambe this just to give it that extra gorgeous flavor and I've got some gram on here a little drizzle and then you can see the flames and that's just allowing the alcohol to cook off but leaving us with a gorgeous aroma. Done, all right, to plate this up. They're quite large, so you'd probably serve one per person, two if you're extra, extra hungry. We'll place one there. And the second one, just really careful as you transport it over because it is full of that hot flavoured butter. So pretty. This is delicious as is, but if you happen to have a little ice cream on standby, then one ball of gorgeous vanilla bean ice cream. You can imagine these are piping hot, freezing cold ice cream. That's how you make the most delicious crepes. I've made mine with banana and passion fruit, or change it up and make it with the flavors that you love.